Hello everyone, this is Adam again. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I hope all you had a chipper and blessed day. Today we're going to jump into episode number 50 for the TTM series and we'll be going over two weeks. So let's go ahead and jump into week one and see what we got. So for the week of 829 through 93, we had zero RTSs, 13 returns, five of them being Hall of Famers, two for my Braves, and one for my 86 top set. So let's go ahead and see what Return number one is going to be Mr. Jim Clancy from our Braves, 3 of 3, free of charge. He usually takes roughly about uh, three weeks to a month, and I got him on this beautiful 92 Donruss and the 81 Tops. And then I think that's the 83 Flare. Yep, 83 Flare. Next return is going to be the second Braves, 4 of 4, Brett Butler, 62 days, free of charge. Got him on the 84 tops times two. So I got some trade bait there. And then I got him on the 83 Donruss and then the 88. All right, next return for the 86 top set, card 497, 101, John Stuper, 119 days, free of charge. And bam, for the Cincinnati Reds, John Stuper. All right, next return is Johnny Ray, three of three, free of charge. He's been returning after a layoff for a while, and he, he's doing it in probably roughly about 7 to 10 days, if, if I remember right. But I got him on the 82 flare there, and then the 88 score, and the 83 Donruss. Love watching Johnny Ray. He was pretty fun to watch. All right. The next one is Jeff Conkle, 5 of 5, uh, free of charge, and got him on the beautiful 90 tops. The 91 uh, Fleer, 90 score, and then the 90 Upper Deck, and let's see. Not sure what that card. Oh, that's his custom. He sent me a custom. That is sweet. Got some stats on the back if you would like to check that out. Bam. Guess I didn't notice that. So maybe it was a 5 or 4 then. All right. The next one is Steve Dillard, 101, 316 days, free of charge. And boom. Got him on the uh, 78. I was going to say 78 tops. But I was too scared to. Bam. All right. And I sent out to him evidently 100 days before. 215 days for this one. And got the rookie card 101 free of charge. And bam. That is, uh, let's see, 77. So I got him on the first and second year. Next return is going to be 201, Stan White, 64 days, free of charge. And boom, there we go. Got him on the uh, Colts the, right there. And he signed it uh, with the Baltimore Colts inscription on it as well. That's pretty cool. And his jersey number as well. And then, bam, there's the index card. God bless, Stan White, John 316 and 14-6. Bam. All right, the next one is going to be Doyle Bronson, 2 of 2, free of charge, and he is a Hall of Fame poker player. And I got him to sign a couple of playing cards, Aces and Doyle, Romans 10, 13, and John 3, 16 as well. Sit there and going to see if I can get a couple more poker players to sign some cards for me as well. So the next return is going to be a Hall of Famer, Artist Gilmore, 19 days, 1 of 1. He's a $20 per. And boom, there we go. Love me some vintage. And that's from 77, 78. Bam, there we go. Next return is going to be the king, Richard Petty. 101, nine days, free of charge. And this is the card I'm thinking. No, it's not the one I'm thinking of. I got another one coming up here pretty soon that is sweet. This is considered his rookie card by some people. On eBay, I was sitting there noticing a lot of people were saying this was his rookie card. So I did pick it up to get it autographed and signed. I didn't put in a rookie card uh, top loader, though, so I wasn't 100% sure. Let me know what you think. This might be the autograph of the episode. He's got one of the most prettiest autographs out there. All right, next return is going to be another Hall of Famer, Whitey Herzog, 101, $5 per. He usually takes about two to three weeks. And bam, I got him on the beautiful 59 tops. Another nice autograph there as well. 
This next one is the first time I've ever sent to Mr. Orlando Cepeda. 33 days to a two Hall of Famer. It shows $10 per, but it, it, he sent a note saying $20 now for any uh, cards. He took 33 days. And there's his little note that mentioned that. But these are the two beautiful cards I sent. He went in and signed both of them, even though I sent only 10 per. Got them on the A&G, and then I got them on this. Uh, let's see, what is this? I done forgot. It looks like it is a FLIR product of some sort. FLIR grates, if I remember right, but I can't sit there and see with the lighting that I have in here. But bam, first time I got Orlando Cepeda. Let's go put him back there. All right, the next return is going to be Little Rock, Arkansas native, Brooks Robinson, $10 per, Hall of Famer, 3 of 3. Which three cards did I get? Bam, 1960 top set. I asked him, could he inscribe a, a card for me? And this dude spanked him. Hall of Famer, 1983, 1966, All-Star MVP. And on the 59 tops. 1964 American League MVP, and then on the 62 top, 16 times Gold Glove, Hall of Famer 1983. He inscribed all those, but no additional charge for me this go around. He's done that one time before for me, and then the rest he hasn't. So it's a hit or miss, you know. Guess I caught him on a great day, and since he's a Little Rock native from my home state, Arkansas, I'm gonna put him back here. As well, let's see. Cover up Orlando Cepeda for a second, I guess. There we go. Get them all out there. All right, so for week number two, from September the 5th through September the 10th, zero RTSs again, six returns, zero Hall of Famers, zero Braves, zero for the 86 top set. Let's see what we got. We got a Steve Trout, 65 days, three of three, free of charge. And bam. The 88 score, the 83 Donruss, and then the 82 Fleer. Yep, 82 Fleer. All right, next return is going to be 3 of 3. Frank Lacordi, uh, free of charge. And bam, 83 Donruss, uh, 82 Fleer, and then the 81 Tops. All right, next return is going to be a 1 of 1. Gary Anderson, free of charge. And bam, I got him on his rookie card. And he's actually from Little Rock as well. Played for my Arkansas Razorbacks. So I love that one. All right. Next return is going to be 27 days, 201. Cliff Pondexter, free of charge. And bam. Sit there and signed it. Looks like in a ballpoint pen at the bottom. But free ink, I'm not going to complain. And he signed the index card as well. That's pretty sweet and cool. Thank you, Mr. Pondexter, for the bonus. All right, 294 days, Mr. Darren Jackson, 3 of 3, free of charge. And bam, we got him uh, sharing the card there with Mark Grace. Looks like it's a rookie card. And then we got him on the 90 Donners and then the 91 Tops. Bam. All right, the last return is going to be Mr. Larry Brown, 4 of 2, 214 days, free of charge. It's not the Larry Brown, the basketball player and coach. But it's the baseball player. Shortstop back in the day. I believe that is the 64 top set. Am I right? Bam. There we go. And then we got him on this one here as well. And that is the 67 top set. Bam. And then we got him on the index card times two. Love this episode. Love it. all these vintage players signing some index bonus cards for me. But as always... Thank y'all for stopping by to get some interaction into the uh, comments. Let me know which one of these was your favorite player to watch and maybe which one of these was your favorite autograph. Uh, do thank y'all once again for stopping by. Please take care and have a chipper and blessed day. And here's my vote for favorite player to watch and favorite autograph. Take care. Bye now.